Physical game, very emotional game, but we see Pasternak and Tuka drop the gloves, two guys who don't do it often. Can we really seem to energize the bench a little bit. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Tuka's obviously, you get the goalie involved with anything, then the emotions start to, to go, but Pasta to, you know, defend Bergie a little bit there, who felt a little liberty was taken on him. Maybe, probably a clean hit, but, uh, you know, you can't have your better players be taking advantage of like that and uh, kudos to Pasta for stepping up fighting a bigger guy who's maybe a little more used to having his gloves off but uh, that's one heck of a job by a 21 year old kid that's uh, really starting to get it and really starting to you know have an all-around game and you know, can't say enough about those actions and I think the rest of the game too there were plenty of willing combatants that were stepping up for each other sticking together and when the other team sticks together like that it feels like there's eight guys on the ice instead of just five and uh, that's a good feeling to have in this room it was a good you know, character building and team building sort of uh, game where we stuck together we killed penalties when we needed to and made plays and sacrificed for each other and that's uh, all winning winning characters of the team and I love it. What's it like getting into a battle right in front of the other team's bench, actually in the other team's bench? Uh, you don't always get to pick your location. Uh, you know, I think the, the scary part maybe is the doors open in that instance, so you got a lot of sharp corners there, and you don't want their guys to fall into it, or you don't want to fall into it either. We can get those sharp corners, but uh, you know, no one's backing down. The emotions were high, and. Uh, we we'll had a little wrestling match. That's that's all good. Can you tell how many players are involved in, in a scrum like that when you're kind of face down the? the uh, I can see two, and uh, I got two arms, so I'll try to <laughs> try to grab each of them. But uh, you know, I think that's they weren't backing down. I wasn't backing down, and uh, you know, I think the refs managed that well by taking one of each of us rather than some refs to try to just take one, and then all of a sudden. Uh, from something that was kind of mutually uh, agreeable turns into advantage for somebody. And um, it was a playoff atmosphere, no question about it. Playoff kind of standard for the penalties. And uh, I think it was a nice little prelude to kind of hockey we have to play to be successful moving forward.